Here's a quick way to update your ServiceNow knowledge bases right from within RoboHelp itself. No plugins are necessary. Just configure RoboHelp output and publish direct. With a robust knowledge base, customers receive service faster or even solve their own issues. As a technical author supporting the ServiceNow platform, you can provide timely updates without ever leaving RoboHelp. In this particular ServiceNow example, there are several knowledge bases such as IT, Social QA, and Knowledge. Each contain articles. We'll show you how to create a table of contents in RoboHelp that maps articles to the structure preferred by ServiceNow. Here's a look at the knowledge base with several articles. Notice these are divided into categories and sections. This is what we'll configure when we get to the table of contents in RoboHelp. As a ServiceNow call center agent takes a call, it is likely that the answer to a customer's question will be found within these articles. The trick is to provide a way for the call center agent to find it quickly. There are two big ways to zero in on the right article. Notice there is a filter icon here at the top of this list of articles. Also notice that there is a search box at the top as well. Here's where the Adobe RoboHelp author can really make a difference. In RoboHelp at the topic level, authors can add search keywords, and these can be picked up by the filters and search engine of ServiceNow. Okay, it's time to look at the RoboHelp project to see how we can accomplish this. Note in the contents how the folders and topics are organized. Note especially the search keywords for this topic. Here I'm adding publishing as a search keyword. Here's another topic and more metadata search keywords to prime the pump of the ServiceNow search engine and filters. Next, we create a new table of contents to match the structure of ServiceNow. All right, I mentioned in the beginning that the table of contents can be mapped to the ServiceNow knowledge structure. Here is how the TOC is created in RoboHelp. The quickest way is to drag and drop from the Contents panel over to the new ServiceNow TOC. Next, we'll create an output preset and choose the Content Only type because this is the format best suited to the XML format of ServiceNow. Time to start the Publish Profile, which we'll use to place our username password credentials and the path to the ServiceNow site URL. With that, we can prepare a Publish Profile specifically for ServiceNow. We can select the ServiceNow Knowledge Base in real time by clicking on the Refresh icon. We select Knowledge. I also have options depending on my content and the way that I've set up ServiceNow. Because many of these customer relationship management platforms do not support CSS or JavaScript, we want to conform to their standards. So to keep our formatting, we will convert all styles in our CSS to inline styles. We can also take advantage of RoboHelp's metadata search keywords and map them to ServiceNow's article tags. We can also elect to upload any images and even linked documents such as PDFs, PowerPoints, and the like. If we want to publish, but not go live right away, we even have the option to upload as a draft. Now we can generate and publish direct to the ServiceNow site. Notice in the ServiceNow knowledge base how the content formatting is retained as we converted CSS styles to inline styles. Here, the filter categories and sections and article tags are prompted by the search keywords we added in our RoboHelp metadata. Adobe RoboHelp, helping agents help customers quicker. For a personalized demo or questions, please write to us, techcom at adobe.com.